Well, here we are, a week before Christmas, and I found the first of the 2021s. A little late this year, but not the first time I haven't found next year's cars until uh, December. Uh, first of all, Mattel has done it to us again. They must hate us collectors. They want to make it hard for us. Look at that. 250 is the count again for the collector cars this year. The same as 2020 and 2019 and several other years. And no way to tell them apart. Personally, I carry around a little notebook where I keep track of them in. And because of that, I know that collector number 9 in 2020 was a Batmobile. And collector number 9 in 2019 was a 55 Chevy. So when I find collector number 9 and it's a green Triumph, it's got to be a 2021. Uh, the only clue really to look for now is this fall they started coming out with that little red Mattel logo in the corner. So it's relatively new if it has that. Well, a 2021 will have that. Um, but still most of the cars on the pegs are, are the 2020s. And I'll show you this car here. This is a sweet treasure hunt. This is a 2021. And I'll it. It's a holiday car, and clearly it is the Halloween car. So I believe Mattel intended for these cars to hit the pegs back in October. And, uh, well, it's 2020. Due to COVID-19, things aren't going as planned. I do want to show you something else that's pretty neat here. This is a Batmobile. Arkham Knight Batmobile. Um, dark red. Neat car. <clears throat> now look at this. The same car in a metallic red, and this one is an ID car. Now, most ID cars come in boxes, cost five to seven dollars, but Mattel has been sneaking them in in basic blister cards like this. These cars came out of the same case. So far, I've only found three of these ID cards on blister cards, but I'm telling you, they're out there, and they're as rare as treasure hunts. So look for them. Happy Hot Wheeling, everyone!